Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation and it's special. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Wait, 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 wait. Yuletide hymns being sung by the choir. Folks dressed up like Eskimos. Too much. Too much. Kevin Cassius, IFL TV. <laughs> MTK Global. Wayne's done today. There was drama at the Wayne, Johnny. You know what? I, I thought, Mama's trying to wind him up. He's trying to, he's trying to... I remember when Harold Graham boxed uh, Mike McCallum. And Mike McCallum said to Harold Graham in a press conference, just don't run. I'll show you, what you, I'll show you what, how, how to fight. So Harold listened to him and thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat him up. And he, and he boxed how Mike wanted him to box. He dragged him into a fight. And Mike afterwards said, I needed you, to, you know, I needed you to try and talk you into a fight. He kind of he kinda shamed him into standing there to fight him. Pulev has been very arrogant, cool, a nice kind of arrogant, cool, confident all week, uh, in your face. And he, today, I could see in a man, I thought, you are trying to wind him up. You need him to come, come to you. And I'm telling you now, Pulev's 39 years old, so I know at this age, you, 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 you've got so much knowledge upstairs, but your pace drops down the, third, the last quarter of a, fight, of a fight. I'm telling you now, the first half of the fight, Pulev is going to <coughs> throw the kitchen sink at AJ, and AJ's got to be cool and patient. So unless he catches him coming in, he's got to be cool and pepper him up, you know, soften him up like a piece of steak, ba -ba -ba -ba. boxing, bashing, boxing, bashing, then start beating him you know, a bit more each round. This is for him to lose, you know, and because because Pul uh, Pulev is here <coughs> to win. He, he said, I could have taken this fight three years ago uh, and uh, I had a bad shoulder. And I said to my coach, do we go for the win or do we go for the money? My coach said, well, what do you want? He said, I want the win. He said, so we pull out the fight. I could have got paid three times more then. I've come for the win. This guy ha thinks it's his design, d d divine destiny to, to, to walk away with a world title tomorrow night because his as, as as, passing father, his brother, this is what they keep talking about. Um, I'm telling you now, there's no bravado there. This guy really and truly believes he's going to win. And if he doesn't, <clears throat> mark my words, he will lose his shit. You watch the news. In, in weeks after, he will lose his mind if he doesn't win tomorrow night. And this is how deep and this is how, how, how passionate he is about it. We've seen in the past, and quite notably, like unsettling fighters, the, the mind games, we, we saw it with Tyson Fury and uh, Vladimir Klitschko a few years ago. But does unsettling or trying to unsettle, excuse me, Anthony Joshua, does that work? Uh, well, he tried it, and Anthony Joshua <coughs> has clearly been working on, on him, himself, mentally, uh, over the past year, year or so, because physically, he's always looked like an Adonis, so physically, he's always got it. And if, if that doesn't match that, eventually, you, it's all going to cave in. Uh, you saw how Pulev was, and, and Anthony, I, I, I'm sensing that. He sees the lights of fury, wild, uh, white, saying and doing, and doing all these things. And he's thinking, I'm the one that's like holding it down. So I'm actually going to give a bit of me out. I'm going to give a bit of my personality. So when Paul Love's getting in his face, telling him about himself, he, he thought, I ain't, no, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm answering you here. So he went back and said, yo, calm yourself. Don't do what everybody else does. You know, let's do this stuff in the ring. And he, 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 tried, he, tried, to, he tried to, I think it was pacify him to say, just calm yourself. I'm coming to your face to tell you this, to let you know I ain't scared of you. You know, you, you're, in, you're in deep. And, and, and then it turned around and Pula's thinking, man, this man's not just walked off. And it was a side to, 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 to AJ that I liked. Uh, it's a side to him that I thought, if you bottle that, and I have a funny feeling you, we're going to see a lot more of that side to him because I did an interview with him um, a couple of days ago. 
And uh, I said, what's changed? He said, I've become thicker skinned. So when he said that, I understood what he was saying uh, because he's become thicker skinned because of how people have been with him from, from losing the Ruiz fight uh, to winning it. And, and you see the, 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 the thickle side of human nature. When asked about a thousand people coming into the arena, he said, no disrespect to the fans, but it's not about them. It's about me and my team. And so now he wants to win for him and his team. It's not to impress them because he's seen the good and, side of human, good and bad side of human nature. So, so I see a lot of maturity in him. <clears throat> I think this is a dress rehearsal for something big. And I, when I say something big, uh, for, for Tyson Fury. And I'm not saying he's looking past Pulev. What I'm saying is he's concentrating on Pulev. And they'll have worked on stuff in the gym. And they want to see him execute those things in the, in, in the ring. Um, Pulev is nothing like Tyson Fury. But it, they just want to see how Anthony Joshua can adapt what he's been taught in the ring. So it's a sort of dress rehearsal of, 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 of a building block to say, right, this is what we're going to do. Remember this work, what you did, put it into place. So uh, this is an exercise for, for he, Rob, and all his team. And, and look, if he wins, uh, depends on the fashion they win. Um, if Rob's not happy with it, he'll, he'll, he'll give him, he'll give him crit uh, uh, criticism. But uh, they've got to be happy with their win. Uh, and so it's not the fashion of the win. Uh, it's not, not the win, it's, it's the fashion of the win that's important. You pussy, I'm going to knock you out. I I'm not saying that to you now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. That's what Eddie Hearn told me that Anthony Joshua said to Kubrat Pulev. And I think I asked Kubrat Pulev today after the, after the weigh-in, and he said, yeah, he did say that, yeah. Yeah, because, and that's, I, I like that. Because this is business. The day before, Puna put his hands up on his shadow box and he just looked across him as to say, what kind of shit is this? You know, and I thought, nah, there's no nonsense here. That PC, that PC friendly edge is gone. And slowly but surely, you've seen that edge of him come out now. I like that. Because, it, because he wants to be for real. He's saying, look, a lot of you guys come over, tell me what you're going to do. Then when you got hit a few times, you bubble. He's one of the few fighters that likes to fight. Uh, Tyson Fury is one of the few fighters that likes to fight. And I don't mean hit, get hit and hit back. And AJ is one of those guys. So there's no nonsense there. And, and regardless, I don't, I don't care what anybody says. I like this version of, of Anthony Joshua. And if he can couple that with, with how he's prepared in the gym and, and he's got all the new additions with Angel Fernandez and, and, and Joby and, and, and Rob McCracken and he's got a good team there. I actually think he'll, he, he, he look, it makes us look forward to something big next year. Are you surprised that Tyson Fury has decided not to attend Wembley tomorrow? Not at all. Why would he? Why would he? Because unless it was a signed, sealed, delivered uh, thing that he, he and uh, Joshua's got, why would he want to promote Joshua? And vice versa, why would Joshua want to go to him and promote him? These two are rivals, so why would he? Because basically it's going to be about... Anthony Joshua, the camera pans on Fury, sat there. If Anthony Joshua gets a devastating knockout, it's just that the only person that's benefiting is, is Anthony Joshua. So why would he? So, so it'd be nice if he did come. Uh, but really, as a businessman, how we look on Anthony Joshua uh, right now is how you also need to look on Tyson Fury. Why should he? I, I get that. If, if, and I'm saying if it was their next fight and they signed it and it's all done, then yeah, it's good for selling the fight. But everybody knows what to expect. What to expect. So I would be very surprised if he rocked up. Very surprised. What is your cutthroat prediction for tomorrow night? Uh, Anthony Joshua between round eight and ten. I think Anthony Joshua uh, will try and implement what he's been working on in the gym. Uh, Pulev will have, unless Pulev's stupid enough to rush onto one, uh, Pulev will try and um, rush Anthony Joshua, make Anthony Joshua work at his pace. Uh, Joshua has to comp control his environment, control everything about him. Remember when he did his public workout there, he did exactly what Klitschko did when he went out. He thought, you're working on my time. You ain't rushing me. I'll watch, you, you watch me. You know, 50 minutes, then everybody's out. So said, what, exactly what Klitschko done. Everything I see with Anthony Joshua, he's doing what Klitschko did, which is in, in control his whole environment. We're in the bubble. I've seen him down here twice. 
and not to eat, not to mix, to do the weighing, to do the presser, and back up to his law. He don't want to mix with, 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 with Paul Levy. He don't want to be his friend. He don't want to be, get comfortable with him. He's learned a massive lesson uh, that he has to, he has to look, look at his opponent and think, you are the enemy. This isn't just, this isn't just business. You are the enemy. May th maybe things may be changed after that, but I like, I like that. But yeah, I, I say Anthony Joshua between rounds to 8 and 10 uh, to stop Pulev, uh, unless Pulev's stupid enough and walks on to one. But it's not an easy fight. Because Paul Left looks in brilliant condition. You look at him, I'm like, man, you, you, you've, you've, you, you look well. You look really well, but so does AJ. I love the weights of both fighters. That means they, they want mobility, they want speed, they want power. Um, and it shows true commitment of, to the craft. Have you thought about what controversial shit you're going to say on Sky Sports tomorrow? Yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll let them all sling it in. But uh, you know what? I'll say something. I'm going to say something. I can back it up. And, and actually, I don't mind the backlash because I'm like, bring it on. Um, <clears throat> it's funny because our sport has got so many Angelo Dundees, people that have never put a glove on, and, uh, and they're telling you how foolish you're talking and you don't know what you're talking about. And everybody's entitled. If you're paying your TV, if you're paying your money to watch it, you have your opinion. But in all seriousness, you know, when you get in the ring, when you've boxed, when you've been hit in the face, uh, when you've been here, or, um, then, I'll, then maybe I'll listen to what you've got to say. And that's just a slim maybe. But why would I be bothered what, if people uh, 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 get what I say or not? Listen to what I'm saying. Don't get gassed and get carried away with what everybody else would jump on a bandwagon. So I don't mind the criticism. I'm, I'm the toughest cookie going. Trust me, there ain't nothing you can say that'll bother me. And I actually, I actually like it. Uh, I actually think, yeah, come on, bring it on. Prove me wrong. Let's have a conversation. Remember when AJ lost to, 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 to Ruiz the first time? And I'm jumping him out like a jack in the box saying, I'm telling you a thousand percent, it's done. And everybody's saying, no, no, AJ shouldn't get straight back into him. He should, it's too, it's too soon, <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Even Adam, Adam telling me I'm foolish saying a thousand percent. All right. If I think something, I'm going to stick by it. Uh, and uh, it doesn't matter if nobody else can see it. I am comfortable to stand on my own. And, and if I'm wrong, I'll say, yo, I'm wrong. But you've got to think to yourself, lately, I've actually been right. Uh, and I mean, a lot. So, so I don't know, as long as that, it, doesn't, it probably had my delivery. Or it's probably that smug Yorkshire look on my face when I drop this stuff. But um, uh, bring it on. Come on, haters, come on. Bring it on. You be you, Johnny. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you, you, you do you. Do Johnny Nelson. Uh, Johnny, thank you very much for talking to Eiffel TV. I've actually decided I'm going to put this out tomorrow, so fight night is tonight. Yeah. So, yeah. Tonight. So, tune in. So, tune in. Tune in tonight. Anthony Joshua V. Uh, uh, Pulev. Pulev, I, um, it's going to be a good one. Uh, and at last, uh, I, I felt the buzz. It's been a great build-up. The year ends on a bang. Uh, we had fight camp. Uh, we've had Wembley uh, uh, Arena uh, uh, week after week fights there. They're trying to bring boxing back and give, give some sort of normality. At last, we've got a crowd in. Uh, I actually think boxers were like cockroaches. Uh, you're never going to get rid of us. You know, we'll always, we'll stand the test of time no matter what's going on. And uh, boxing again, once, once again, prevails. So we're, we're, we're coming back out. Hi, man. Hi. Hi. Johnny Nelson, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and uh, we'll definitely grab a word of you after the fight. Are you coming back here after the fight? Let's talk, baby. We'll do something here Let's in the hotel talk, after. Talk. Well, we'll talk here after the Actually, fight. Actually, I can come near you, can't I? This week? Uh, yeah, no, 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 because I leave the bubble on Saturday to... Yeah, you can, actually. Yeah, you can. Because I'm, I'm in the studio with Anna. Uh, I think it's Anna and Carl. So, um, Are you staying here Saturday night is what I want to know. Yeah. Of course I'm staying here Saturday night. What? All right. Then we'll chat. We'll chat. Talk, Johnny, thank you very much. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Fish and chips tonight. Oh, it. sorry. I've seen it. If it's Saturday night, it was fish and chips last night. Because it's Friday. It was Friday tonight. But this will be at... Yeah, go on. Cheers. Cheers for that, Johnny. <laughs> thank you very much. This is something that comes along every now and then in generation. And this special.
Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. <laughs>